Hi everyone, this is Courtney with Texas Teacher Today. I want to talk to you about getting ready for the LOTE, uh, the pedagogy section that I always talk about. It's the biggest and often hardest part of the test. And on that section, there are usually a lot of questions on the five C's. So I thought I'd go over the five C's briefly and how to answer these questions. So I'm going to share my screen and show you guys a couple things. So something you should really do that's totally free is just go to Google and type in Texas N-E-S-I-N-C, Texas N-E-S-I-N-C. And I did it wrong, let me do that again. And then it's gonna, gonna come up, Texas N-E-S-I-N-C. Then you wanna click on prepare and then select L-O-T-E 613 from the dropdown. Click on go. And then you'll have a bunch of resources to look at. You can learn more about the exam in the first few links, um, see how much every section counts and all of that. But right now, let's, since we're talking about the pedagogy, specifically the five C's, we're going to click on number eight, sample foreign language pedagogy content knowledge questions. When we click on this, it's going to have some sample pedagogy questions for us. So not all of them will be five C's. Some of them will be about the theories, models. Some of them will be about the ACTFL guidelines. But if we scroll down, Here's the five C's chart that I want to tell you about. And then there's going to be some five C's questions. So these questions are very helpful. They'll help you learn the content um, because they have the ex explanations. But you do need a really good study guide to learn all of the material. This won't teach you everything you need to know. Um, but it's good to reinforce what you're learning in a course or a book. So let's look at these five C's. The first one is on communication. 1.1 is what's called interpersonal communication. It's a conversation. It's the only form of com com uh, communication that's two-way, that's a back and forth and exchange. So it's conversations, providing and obtaining information, expressing feelings and emotions and exchanging opinions. Next, we have 1.2, which is interpretive communication, understanding of written and spoken language on different topics. Next, we have 1.3, which is presentational communication, presenting. Um, so that's the communication standard, which is pretty straightforward. Next, we have the culture standard. This is the one that gets most people. 2.1, students demonstrate an understanding of the relationship between the practices and perspectives of the culture study. So practices are things people do, perspectives are what they believe. So for example, if you believe that it's important to take care of the environment, that's your perspective. The practice might be that you drive a car that um, gets really good gas mileage or an electric car, or maybe you ride your bike. So culturally, maybe, uh, you know, a lot of Latin America and Spain are Catholic. That's their perspective. Their practice would be going to mass. That's an example. Okay. 2.2, students demonstrate an understanding of the relationship between the products and perspectives of the culture studied. So this is things people buy, products, perspectives, what they believe. So going back to the Catholic example, that's their perspective product. They might buy a crucifix. Okay, next, so let's look at connections. And I'm going through these very quickly. In tutoring, we spend more time on each one, but I want to keep this video short for time's sake. Uh, next, we have connections. Students reinforce and further their knowledge of other disciplines through the foreign language. So they study another subject in Spanish. So maybe they learn about economics or they study algebra in Spanish or science. Next, 3.2, students acquire information and recognize the distinctive viewpoints that are only available through the foreign language and its cultures. So some things that are only available through the foreign language would be like political ideologies, right? So maybe they studied Che Guevara's ideas. That would be unique to one of those target language cultures. Next, we have comparisons. This one's straightforward. They, under, they demonstrate an understanding of language by comparing L1 and L2 language one and language two, and 4.2, they compare cultures. They compare their culture to one of the target language cultures. So that's 4.2. Communities, 5.1 is using Spanish both within and outside of the school setting. And 5.2 is showing evidence of becoming a lifelong learner by using the language for personal enjoyment and enrichment. Maybe they watch a movie in Spanish, they read a book in Spanish, something like that. They volunteer and use the target language. Um, so I hope that helps. There's there's several sample questions here on the five C's that you can check out, and I encourage you to do so, and the answers are there for you, and I explain why. If you need help, uh, please go to my website, lotespanish.us, 
You can schedule tutoring. You can sign up for a course. I'd love to help you pass the LOTE. It's hard, but it's not impossible. Thanks.